into some important things about sandwich lease options. Does everybody here know what I mean when I say a sandwich lease option? Any, anybody want to tell me what that is? What do I mean when I say a sandwich lease option? Good to see Larry from Illinois. I'm not sure what that is, Justin. Good to see Sandra too. I snuck in here a little bit, a couple minutes late. So it's good to see you. I'm sorry, who was that again? That was me. I, I was saying, um, I, I would like if you can explain what a lease option, a uh, sandwich lease option is, please. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. A sandwich lease option is just very plainly uh, the same thing that we were doing with the lease option assignments. So we're we're in a lease option assignment. We were getting a contract uh, lease option with a homeowner, and we're going to advertise that deal, and we're going to find a tenant buyer that's going to come put the option fee down, which is our payday, and we're going to assign the deal to the tenant buyer, and we're going to walk away with our payday. That's an assignment. The sandwich is, and it's described as a sandwich. I I think it's a beautiful term. It's it fits me so well, uh, but I did not invent it. Uh, sandwich lease option is where you stay in the middle. You don't assign it away. You stay in the middle and you're the meat between two slices of bread. Now, who's the two slices of bread? Buyer and seller. Yeah. One's the seller, one's the buyer, tenant buyer. And you're going to be in the middle. Now, there's a couple reasons why you would want to do a sandwich lease option rather than a a just a regular wholesale assignment lease option okay and so let's write that down these are also what i call qualifiers okay so when you run into a a deal that has these qualifiers you know that it would possibly be a good sandwich lease option okay so it must have a larger total equity profit than can be reasonably expected in upfront option fee from your tenant buyer. What do I mean? Somebody help me out. Does that make sense at all? Or did it, does that totally confuse you? Okay, this is a qualifier. When you're looking at a lease option deal, if it has a larger total equity profit, what do I mean by that? We'll find out. We're going to dig in a little deeper into the equity profits and what I mean by that. And it'll be totally clear to you by the end of today's session. But basically what I'm talking about is, is there's a large spread there for you. Let's say you've got a let's say you've got a hundred thousand dollar house, but this you have a potential because you picked up this deal at such a good price that you, there's a potential, and because of the appreciation rate going up in the neighborhood, that over thirty six months of the term that you negotiated, it's it's possible for you to get thirty thousand dollars. There's that much spread in it. Well, you're probably not going to get $30,000 down on this property because remember, it's only a $100,000 property. Okay. Does that make sense now a little bit more clearly? Okay. So it has to have a large profit spread more than you would collect if you were just going to collect a reasonable down payment from the guy or gal. I hope that makes sense. All right. So if you were going to collect 100% of that equity profit there, if you were going to collect 100% of it, what would you want to do? Somebody tell me. If there was a potential of $10,000 spread here on this deal of $100,000 house, and, and I found a tenant buyer and he had all $10,000, what would I want to do? Collect the rest over time. <clears throat> well, if if there's only a $10,000 profit spread here in our example, and I found a tenant buyer that's got $10,000 in cash, he's ready oh, you to wanna go. Host, oh, you want to assign it and get out of it? Yes, I'm just going to assign it because there's nothing, there's no larger amount there for me to stay in the middle to collect. Yeah. Okay. Does that make sense, Antonio? Yes, it makes perfect sense. Thank okay. You. Okay, great. Uh, 
Anybody with questions on that one? Okay. The second qualifier is, is it must have a nice monthly profit sp uh, spread. Okay. What do I mean by this? Does anyone know? Go ahead. Shout out if you know it. A, a nice must have the property deal must have a nice monthly profit spread. So if I find a lead and I'm talking to the homeowner and this deal has a nice monthly profit spread for me, I might stay in the middle as a sandwich. What do I mean? $500 more, 350. I don't know. It depends on you. Okay. So for example, yeah, Mateo, uh, if I owe the homeowner $1,000 a month, that's what the homeowner agreed to with me that I, that I sent him a thousand dollars a month, but the neighborhood fair market rent is, is 1400, 1500. Mm -hmm. That means that, that potentially I could collect 1500 from a tenant buyer and then send a thousand to the seller. What, what does that mean for me? $500, yeah. Yeah. Basically that's $500 a month in profits. Okay. So if I come up into a situation where I find a deal <clears throat> and we already talked about where the tenant buyer has the whole assignment fee in cash. Okay, I'm going to assign that. That was that was number one we talked about. Number two here, if I find a deal where I owe, I will be owing the seller considerably less than what I could collect from a tenant buyer. Okay, now I might think this this could be a, a great sandwich deal for me. Okay, does that all make sense to everybody? Are there any questions on that?